Folks, the markets are down, crypto is down, there's blood in the water, people are panicking, the venture capital community is running scared and they're drawing up the ramparts, they don't want to do any more funding. People are freezing on the hires, Meta, aka Facebook, has frozen on their hires. What on earth is going on and how do me and you respond to that? Well, I've got four key points that I want to share with you on how we should respond to this. First and foremost, when you have a market correction, it's going to be very hard to predict the bottom. But what you do know for certain is that certain stocks and certain crypto that were previously really highly valued, overpriced, are now going to become much better priced or even cheaper than they should be. And this is the point when it becomes interesting to buy. Now, the point that you actually start buying is a difficult one to predict. So the first advice would be have an opportunistic mindset when it comes to the stock market and crypto and have cash that you're ready to use to start buying up stocks and crypto that become particularly cheap. Ease your way into all of this though, because it's very hard to predict the bottom. If you can invest in dribs and drabs into those cryptos or stocks that you've long wanted to invest into that are now much cheaper, that will be the better approach. The second point is invest in asset classes that are uncorrelated with the stock market. And investing in early stage venture, that is, early stage startups that are building for the future is a great way of getting uncorrelated returns to the stock market. Because you see startups are going to come to fruition in 10, 15 years time. So what is happening right now in the stock market is not really that relevant for them. Of course, venture is a high risk area and your capital is at risk. So you make sure that you are only allocating a small portion of your overall portfolio to this sector. However, it is uncorrelated, so it should be an important part of your overall considerations, in my humble opinion. The third thing you should do is invest in real estate because long term, there is still a structural shortage of quality commercial and residential property, certainly in the UK and actually globally as well. And there will be a lot of money still going into meeting that real demand that there is there. And if you can invest in things that have long leaseholds and ideally have tier one blue chip tenants, then that is the perfect combination. And this will mean that your capital will stay relatively safe from the ravages of the serious inflation that is coming and you should get a return on your investment as well as capital appreciates and as you get rental income as well. If you would like to find out opportunities like this, by the way, and venture capital opportunities, then do check out our alternative investment platform called ifg.vc. The link is in the description below. The fourth and most important thing is you should have a long-term mindset and be investing in things that are going to add value to the world rather than things that are just a store of value. So invest in things that are going to advance humanity and benefit humanity in some way, shape or form. Investing a little bit in cold pieces of metal, such as gold and silver, is fine for a portion of your portfolio as a bit of a hedge, but long term, the thing that is going to make your portfolio really kick off is going to be those kind of big jumps that human civilization takes. Let's say the first time something like Facebook or Dropbox or Zoom or Amazon or Microsoft or Google were created. What about the people who are panic selling? You're crystallizing your losses for a start. That isn't necessarily a bad thing in all circumstances, but if the company is fundamentally something that you still believe in, and you can afford to just hold it for a longer period of time, then there's no reason why you shouldn't continue to hold that thing. Um, if you crystallize the loss and it is based on irrationality, i.e. it's just based on fear, then that is not a good way to make an investment decision. Um, and you, know, you should have had a plan when you went in about when you are looking to exit and what will the scenarios be for the exit and now you should stick to that plan and if you didn't have a plan in the first place then now is a good time to start making that plan and then being dictated to by that plan when it comes to an exit as well. Folks that was a slightly different kind of video but I thought it was important to share because there is a little bit of fear and panic in the ecosystem at the moment. Please do let me know if you agree or if you disagree or if you think I've gone completely bonkers let me know in the comments below. Please make sure that you like and you subscribe and that way we can share the goodness with more and more people out there. 
Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.